<laughs> Woo! So I'm looking at this. Uh, shout out to Sean Cotton Say Cheese. But I'm taking a look at his uh, tweet that he put online. And it says, Little Dirk Snitch was an OTF member and he was exposed wearing a wire. OTF Jam allegedly wore a wire for multiple years. He previously served a 12 year old sentence. And, um, you know, as y'all know, Little Dirk was uh, arrested today or last night on federal charges. A conspiracy to commit murder, or should I say deletion for more YouTube terms. He's currently locked up in Broward County, down there in South Florida, on no bond facing extradition back to California. So, I made a video earlier today, and um, hopefully y'all can hear me better now. I'm in front of a, a better microphone. But, um, you know, it, it's unfortunate. He just got keys to the city of Chicago, and he also just got, did a peace peace rally at the united center you know dirk was one of the early members of drill uh my home state of chicago or chicago home state of illinois drill movement and um you know a lot of people a lot of people gone from it and it seemed like dirk finally realized what was going on and that we're all that it's conspired against us you know as black men to delete each other right well i guess it was too little too late and um you know, the feds is going. Now, I'm also seeing reports for the federal government that Dirk was going to try to go to Dubai or Italy or um, forget where else. But he was trying to go somewhere where he wouldn't be extradited back to the United States. Uh, he booked multiple tickets and the feds caught him. And um, you're probably wondering why I got Donald Trump and uh, Kamala Harris in the picture. And I'm, I'm explaining that. But, I, but before I get there, let me just say this. And I'm going to keep saying this. All that active street life. All the street rap, I'm really rapping how I'm living at the moment, man. That's over. That's over in hip hop. It's over. It's over. Y'all better learn from Kendrick. You better learn from Cole. You better learn from Drake. You know, y'all just need to make music. We need we need to go back to, you know, you, you know, you make you make more conscious music and then you make songs for ladies. Y'all remember them back in the day? A lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. You always had to have a street record and a club record or a ladies record. But this whole active lifestyle, I mean, it's over, man. The feds, they have been coming. You see, they got um, Young Thug jammed up. And also, he never got charged with, I believe he had switches on them guns down here in Atlanta. So, they might pick it up, depending on the feds, might probably going to pick it up that case. And then you also got um, the Old Block Six. You know, y'all remember, yeah, the entire Old Block Six, Muwap and all the other people, man, they gone, cooked. You got um, FBG Duck, who my brother was cool with. You know, they ended up doing shows and stuff, gone in the ground. Rondo number nine, gone in the ground. Lil Jojo, gone in the ground. The the young man Tuka, gone in the ground. Lil Mark, gone in the ground. So on and so forth. You know, the only one that I can think of who really made it out unscathed was Chief Keith. And salute to that brother, man. He, I think they, I can remember if they shot his house up in Chicago. Something happened, man. He got the hell on. He went right down there to Calabasas. He been out of trouble, you know, in Brick. We're not Brick. Brick gone, too. FBG Brick gone. Billionaire Black, he went to Arizona. King Yellow, he down there in Vegas. You know, even though he ended up doing fed time per what he said. But it's cool, man, listen. All that street stuff, it ain't worth it, man. Because if Dirk get convicted of this, it don't see, let me before I go there, let me say this. It don't matter how famous you are, it don't matter how rich you are, you still a Negro in this in this country. In the federal government, that's why I'm going to get to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris right now. I mean, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. If they get convicted, the only way they're going to get out of jail is if one of these two people could give them a pardon. And uh, and that that's that's if they do. You better hope Trump get in office because Kamala is definitely not going to give Lil Dirk no pardon. So, if convicted. So, I mean, y'all y'all want to be cool and be street and all that. Like, I remember growing up, right? A lot of people I grew up with. They took the street route because it was cool. You know, you get a you get a, a color supreme or throw some rims on it, sell a little dope, have some Jordans. You know, all, all the girls pull up. You pull up to the high school. A lot of them they they dropped out of high school, but they'll still pull up. And you know, the cheerleader run into the car and all of that. Meanwhile, some people like me and some of y'all, we play we focus more on sports and uh, technology, and we were considered the lames and the squares. But now, fast forward. Fast forward 20 years, a lot of that, a lot of my friends now, either they in the feds, they in state prison, a lot of them dead and gone, a lot of them are, 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 are buried in unmarked graves, or, or their mama's got to do these, uh, at least in the Midwest we do this, we do egg roll drives to try to pay for funerals, but why, why don't people call us squares, you know, a lot of us didn't, didn't left my hometown, they moved to different places, 
work for four fortune 500 companies or grow got successful businesses and that's what we are not taught for the most part in our community like why is why, why, why in the hell was real music even the top to begin with you know what i'm saying nobody really made it out unscathed like that and even with chief keith his cousin big low big low got um big low got his wig split honestly you know right right, right after he signed and, and i'm I, and i know with other people around chief keith that that is no longer here so it's like man and, and like i said dirk what 31 32 let's say he do get convicted and he live another 70 years that means the majority of his life he's gonna be in prison and only got uh, how many kids he got you know and all the millions man that's gonna run up dry when you pay legal fees and and all that other stuff man it, it's it's not worth five years of fame is not worth 30 years of your life or the rest of your life you know same thing with puff you know what i'm saying if 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 if, if convicted and they throw the book at diddy it's pretty much life so all that billionaire stuff it don't matter and because you still a negro in this country man you ain't gonna never be able to get away with stuff so i just really hope that um you know the people that said that it's am you a millennial man if you in the streets let it go if you got nephews or sons or you know little cousins man tell it man forget the streets man go to the military go be a navy seal or or, or army ranger go be something like that you know what i mean like all that, all that, that, that thug, it, 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 it don't never work historically. None of these people ever, even, even Big Meech, Big Meech just came home. I guarantee you, if you talk to Big Meech, him doing all that time wasn't even worth it because what he, when he went away, his son was a child, not his son, a grown man. I think his son got a son. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, it's not worth it a lot of times. Frank Lucas, Frank Lucas said that a lot of y'all love American gangster. Frank Lucas said if he if he could have went back in time, he said he would have never gotten the streets. He would have went to school somewhere. It's not worth it. You know what I mean? Look at the um look at a Bill Gates. Look at a Warren Buffett. Look at a Jeff Bezos. Look at a Mark Zuckerberg. Um uh, look at a Robert F. Lewis, one of the first black billionaires. Look at all look look, look at all, all these different these, these are people that you need to you want to strive to be. You know what I'm saying? You want to strive to be the nerds is the nerds really run the world. You know all these rappers they're running on YouTube and Instagram. Well, look who created that stuff. You'd be surprised. A lot, of, a lot of these people they were more standoffish growing up. They were more introverted, and now they're worth thirty, forty, fifty billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? To where they're more powerful than, than, than any of these drill rappers that you know. So you know it's just sad. It's sad for this young brother. And like I said, man, especially as as, as uh, black men, please, man, please. Please tell your kids and, and, and cousins, miss, leave the streets alone. I had a cousin. I had a cousin. I was, uh, he was a little bit younger than me. And, I, I, you know, he was about in his early 20s. And he was trying to debate what he was going to do. And he's like, man, cuz, man, I'm thinking about going to the Air Force. And I said, listen, man, please go. Listen, all these Negroes you rolling with, they're going to be here when you get back. And next thing I know, he gone, man. He doing his own thing. And I believe he just had a baby. And he's he's probably spent at least the last, I say, seven years in the military. You know what I mean? Versus some of these people on their own block. At least he got he got health insurance, 401k, uh, uh, lifetime benefits. Meanwhile, some of these other Negroes, they 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 get out of jail, they die, and and that's it. Nothing. Can't even can't even bury them. You know, at least when my cousin passed away, he get a proper, he gets a, a military funeral, you know, if he chooses it. So it's not worth it, man. And, um, you know, it, it just, it just, it breaks my heart. And and let's say even if Dirk was trying to change his mind, change his life it's too late, man, the feds, they were sitting back just licking their chops, just waiting, just waiting for you to slip up. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, it's unfortunate, but I'll keep breaking more news. And like I said, listen, man, them snitches, man. One more thing, y'all need to stop believing that people are not gonna not go snitch. A lot of y'all, a lot of a lot of people, when when the feds get in you and they start shaking down time and saying if you don't give us information, we're gonna give you sixty years. They were telling their mama. A lot of them were telling their mama for a bucket of chicken and an EBT card or a link card. You don't think that they not going they not gonna snitch? <laughs> you know, people I know walking around. That man, hey, we snitch, man, man, hey, man, they, they went and they, they told, they told. There's several people walking around that I know that told. So, yeah, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.